Drone Delivery Canada is set to unveil the Condor today. A gas-powered vertical takeoff and landing rotocraft, and I decided to check it out. The first thing I noticed was the massive scale of this flying machine. It is big. Uh, so it's our, it's our, it's our first gas-powered uh, drone platform, and it moves 400 pounds of cargo. Uh, we started off with our Sparrow, which is a 10-pound cargo capacity drone. We upgraded to the Robin, which does 25 pounds, then the Falcon, which does 50, and this one here now does 400. So we continue pushing the envelope uh, as the technology keeps perfecting itself, and now we're ready to get this in the sky. We're going to start doing test flights in Q3 of this year. Uh, we've embedded our flight uh, management system into the, into the Condor, which is really the brains behind it all flying robots. So uh, our flight system uh, creates uh, an autonomous path, a flight path. Uh, everything is monitored and managed from ground control. A drone operator can oversee up to 50 drones at any given time. We're building an action operation center right now in Vaughan, Ontario. That'll house about 20 to 25 drone operators. Uh, so we operate as a managed service. Uh, there's nobody flying the drone. If there's a problem, a human can intervene and get involved but ultimately it's flying on a predetermined flight path. The Condor will do 200 kilometers at about 120 kilometers an hour. The smaller ones will do both 30 kilometers, 30 to 50 kilometers, and uh, the speed will vary depending on the weather conditions, but typically about 65, 70 kilometers an hour. It's actually very cost effective, believe it or not. The Condor is able to move cargo at 33 cents to the dollar versus traditional means of transport. It's really about building uh, a platform where there's a return on investment and we generate efficiencies of scale. We're looking at hybrid solutions uh, for this vehicle here. So for now as a starting point, we're gonna go with a conventional uh, small CC uh, internal combustion engine. And then uh, once we get this in the air, then we'll experiment with hybrid technologies. We're always looking at better ways to enhance the fleet. We're at a great point in our business right now. We're at the starting line. We've developed the technology, it works. Uh, we're ready to prove it out, put it into commercial operations, so the sky's really the limit. It's, uh, it's a very exciting time for us. With the unveiling of the Condor today, I'm no expert, but I certainly see Drone Delivery Canada taking off. For Minus Letter Live, I'm Sean Cookson.